the new Flexbox and CSS Grid system in Divi 5 got some amazing superpowers, offering powerful ways to arrange your content inside your Divi Visual Builder. But when you should use Flexbox versus Grids? In this video, we are diving into the differences, features and the best use cases for each one, helping you pick the perfect tool for your next project. So if that sounds interesting, then let's dive in. My name is Ankit and you are watching Elegant Themes YouTube channel, the makers of the DB Visual Builder. So how exactly both of them are different? Now both Flexbox and Grid lives in the layout style dropdown but they are built for different tasks. Let's go ahead and break down when to use each to streamline your workflow. Now Flexbox is your go-to for single direction layouts like horizontal button groups or vertical navigation bars. It's perfect when elements need to wrap to the next line automatically. Set layout wrapping to wrap and your content adjust smoothly. Now Flexbox also shine for mobile reordering, letting you shift elements like a call to action to top on smaller screens. If you are building progressively and tweaking as you go, Flexbox keeps things simple and intuitive. Now grids excel when you need control over both rows and columns like a blog template or loop builder where post snap into a defined structure. It's for spanning items across multiple cells, like a featured post taking two columns. Use grids for layouts with a set structure up front, where you can define patterns like every fourth element spanning extra column. Make sure you use grid for layouts with a set structure up front, when you can define patterns like every fourth item spam using the offset editor for repeating effects without manual tweaks. Now choosing between Flexbox and Grid depends on your layout's flow. Use Flexbox for single directional layouts, equal height items or mobile reordering. Or go for grid when controlling rows and columns using loop builder or spanning items across cell. If your structure is defined upfront, grids are best. For progressive builds, Flexbox is your go-to choice. And here comes the best part. You can switch between them anytime in Divi 5 without losing your structure or work. Just go ahead and test, tweak and find which one fits best for your use case. Well, let's start with Flexbox, a core CSS layout model in Divi 5 that works in one direction, either horizontally or vertically. It replaces the old speciality sections, letting you nest rows inside columns with multiple levels for ultimate flexibility. Now with Flexbox, you can control alignment and content reordering for different screen sizes, all within the Divi Visual Builder layout menu. No custom CSS needed, just intuitive controls to make your layout shine. Now using Flexbox in Divi 5 is a breeze. Add a row in your section, choose a layout like equal column or multi row and drop your modules inside it. And then go ahead and click the rows settings and head to design tab. And there you will find layout settings. Now switch to Flexbox from there. Then adjust layout direction for horizontal or vertical flow and use justify content and align items to position elements. Then go ahead and tweak horizontal and vertical gaps for perfect spacing and you are all set. Now let's explore grids. It's DB5's two dimensional layout system that controls rows and columns at once. It creates structural cell framework where modules snap into place based on your rules. You can set up your grid by defining columns and rows count, sizes and gaps. And you can even choose from pre-built templates for quicker setup. Grid is perfect for precise, complex layout that adapts effortlessly across devices. Now, in order to use grids, add a row and select a grid template from the layout option. You can also convert an existing layout to grid in the design tabs layout style settings. 
Customize column width and row height, choose equal, auto or manual for precise control. Along with that, you can also adjust grid, direction, density and alignment settings like justify content and align item to arrange and space your content perfectly. So DB5's Flexbox and Grid system give you powerful flexible tools to create responsive layouts with ease. Whether you need single directional flow or two-dimensional precision, these options got you covered. So start with what suits your project, experiment with both and share your feedback as we are very close to DB5 beta phase. So if you are ready to give it a try, then make sure you download DB5 public alpha today. And if you want to deep dive in this topic and learn more about it, we have created a complete blog post that you can check out in the video description below. If you like this video, then make sure you give it a like and share it with your friends and community. And for more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one and I'll catch you in the next video.